An unusual or upset attitude is a condition when an aircraft is in an extreme nose-high or nose-low attitude. Pilots usually face these undesired conditions when inadvertently entering instrument meteorological conditions. If a pilot unexpectedly loses reference to the horizon or other outside references, they can become spatially disoriented, which can lead to unusual attitudes. Pilots practice unusual attitude recovery regularly to always be ready for out-of-the-ordinary situations. By routinely practicing, pilots develop proficiency in recognizing unusual attitudes and recovering from them safely. There are two types of unusual attitude recovery that all pilots must be proficient in, nose high and nose low. When conducting unusual attitude practice, the instructor or examiner will first have the pilot put on a view limiting device and lower their head or close their eyes while the aircraft is put into an unusual attitude. Next, when told to recover by the instructor or examiner, the pilot must first observe the airspeed trend by looking at the airspeed indicator. If they observe a rapid decrease in airspeed, this indicates an abnormal nose high attitude. The pilot then confirms the nose-high attitude by referencing the attitude indicator and increasing altitude on the altimeter. The pilot then initiates a recovery from the nose-high unusual attitude by applying full power, applying forward elevator pressure to lower the nose towards the horizon line, and then leveling the wings using coordinated aileron and rudder pressure. Once the pilot notes that the airspeed indicator trend begins reversing direction, the altimeter tape or needle stops moving and the vertical speed indicator reverses direction, they return the plane to cruising attitude and power settings. If requested, the pilot should return to and resume an assigned altitude and heading. If the pilot observes a rapid increase in airspeed, this indicates an abnormal nose low attitude. The pilot then confirms the nose low attitude by referencing the attitude indicator and the decreasing altitude on the altimeter. The pilot then initiates a recovery from a nose low unusual attitude by reducing the power to idle, leveling the wings using coordinated aileron and rudder inputs, and then smoothly applying back elevator pressure to recover from the dive and return to level flight. Once the pilot notes that the airspeed indicator trend begins reversing direction, the altimeter tape or needle stops moving, and the vertical speed indicator reverses direction, they return the plane to cruising attitude and power settings. If requested, the pilot should return to and resume an assigned altitude and heading. Some helpful tips when practicing unusual attitude recovery are as follows. Reference the airspeed indicator first to determine if a nose high or nose low recovery method is necessary. If the aircraft's airspeed is increasing, the aircraft is in a nose low attitude. If the airspeed is decreasing, the aircraft is in a nose-high attitude. For both nose-high and nose-low unusual attitude recoveries, the power adjustment is the first step in recovering. When recovering from a nose-low unusual attitude, the pilot must bring the wings level before recovering from the dive to ensure they do not overload the aircraft or enter an accelerated stall while recovering. Pilots must remember that the objective of these maneuvers are to avoid a critically high airspeed and load factor as well as preventing major loss of altitude. Recoveries must be prompt yet smooth. Be sure to bring the aircraft back to straight and level flight at cruise speed. When being evaluated by a progress check pilot or a designated practical examiner, the pilot must recognize unusual flight attitude and perform the correct, coordinated, and smooth flight control application to resolve unusual pitch and bank attitudes while staying within the airplane's limitations and flight parameters. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.